First pitch moments away on the hill for the Mariners. Logan Gilbert. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And now it's one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Josh Smith with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Bro. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One gone runner at first. So next to hit for Texas, Wyatt Lankford. And oh. another ball. And a pitch. Stays alive. Smith leads off first with one away. Left field, sizing this one up. A Rosarena makes the play. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Carson Kelly. And he's leading him and runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure. And he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. First, Smith back in on a dive. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That one is absolutely belted. The Rosarena ranging back. Going gone. It just got out of here. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. I'm not really sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front on a breaking ball like that such a good chance that it's going to hook foul but not this time he kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. So two down, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Mm -hmm. 
Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. Texas plates two on the homer. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Seattle, our starter in this one, Chase Anderson. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile Where environment. So Mariner? when you have a player like this the on your team Mariner. that goes out there and competes, Mariner. you definitely like your chances Mariner. away from your home ballpark. Swing and a miss as he was late. One and two. And down on strikes he goes. And one gone. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Rodriguez started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. And the pitch. Headed down the line. And that drops foul. One down, base is empty. And down another and ball. Foul tip, but he hangs on for strike three. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punched out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Two out spaces empty. And that's a strike. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Up the middle. Nice grab. To his knee, the throw. And very nicely done for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play. And that ends the inning. Second inning set to go. Now it's going to be Josh Young. Josh Young. The 1 1. Popped up right side. Under it is Justin Turner to make the catch. Batting seven. The second baseman, Ezekiel. Next up Duran. for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. Here's a two one. And it's strike two. Two two. The wind and the pitch. High fly ball out to left field. The Rosarena moving under it. They got it for out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And another and ball. One. That yeah. one finds the zone, and that is strike two. The pitch. And a swing 
and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. And the Rangers set down in order. They're up to nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, we, we head to the bottom Mariners. of the second. And stepping in for the Mariners, Randy or Rosarena. Anderson ready to work. 2-2. Two -two. Boog, one of our favorites. Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired here in the second. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now the DH, Luke Rayleigh. The 1-1. One -one. Got right. the bat going too soon. It's strike one, two. two. One down, base is empty. Gets under and pops it up. Under this one. And it's caught for the out. Batting six, the first baseman, Justin Turner. And it'll bring up Justin Turner. The 1-1. One -one. Fought off foul. And down on strikes. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Mariners go down quietly there, and they're down two nothing. And we're back onto the third inning. Here's Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares. And the right hander deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. On the ground to the left. Foul. And that's just foul. Righty to the plate. Good job to fight that one off. And the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. And that one in the air center field. Rodriguez snags it, one down. Now that designated hitter, Marcus Simeon. Now it's Marcus Simeon. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. The pitch out there, too long. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. John Smith. Next to hit, Josh Smith. Two outs. That's outside. Oh. Two and one. Got Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. That one laced to center and a base hit. 
So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. It is interesting though when you consider the way the game is run now doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Two outs runner at first. Here's the left fielder Wyatt Lankford lifted in the air right field and that is that one left for Texas but they hold the two nothing lead. Set for the bottom of the third. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. The second baseman. Jorge Polanco. And a pitch. In the air out to center. Tavares settles under it. Makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Batting it. Not shortstop. And now J.P. Crawford. And it is two and one. That one pushed foul. Left hand hitter waits. Fouls it back with two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the righty deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swings and misses, struck him out. Here's Josh Rojas. Two down, nobody on. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And that's two in the dirt. The M's down by a pair here in the last half of the third. Bounce to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Mariners are down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. Start of the fourth. Off, now it's the right fielder, Adolis right fielder. Garcia. Adolis Garcia. The pitch. In there. And so now one and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One away. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. The first baseman. Nathaniel. Here's something cool, Boog. When they finished building T-Mobile Park back in 1999, they actually opened it up in the middle of the season. I remember That's as a ball. rookie with the Chicago White Sox, we opened the Two season one. at the Kingdom, and then when we came back later in the year, we were playing at T-Mobile Park. It's a beautiful place, great scenery from center field, and I always enjoyed playing here. One down, base is empty. And another Double ball. Count. In the air, left field, down the line. A Rosarena going back. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. Swing and a high fly ball to left. A Rosarena right there to make the grab. And there's two away. Here's Josh Young. One one down. Clobber to right field, way back, gone.
He sends it out of here. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Well, he took the split finger that was away and stayed on plane with it nicely. That's one of the most difficult pitches to square up. He just did it, and right there, he was a professional hitter. Base is empty with two away. Up next for the Rangers, Ezekiel Duran. And they'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom four. Now here, here is Victor Mariners, Robles. The right fielder. Victor Robles. That one finds the corner, and it's one and two. One, Generally, two. second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. This one in the air center field. Tavares makes the grab on the run. The center fielder, number 44. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Singing, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. This to third, and foul ball. foul ball. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it. Uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Over to low. Rodriguez out of the play. Now batting. The catcher. Cal Raleigh. Two outs, space is empty. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the kid. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Nobody left for Seattle. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the catcher comes up to him. Carson Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Kicks and fires. He goes down looking. Now so next to hit for Texas, Leone Tavares. Out to short. Crawford sends it to first. They get him, but it was pretty close. Had to make a perfect play right there after that nice backhand stop, and he did. He couldn't have transferred the ball from his glove to his hand any better than he did. Just an excellent release. So the batting order turns over. Here is Marcus Simeon. And that's oh. downed away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Yeehaw. Next offering is in for a strike. Full 
gets a piece and stays alive. 3 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. Tapped softly on the ground. Crawford on the run. Throw to first. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. Rangers go down quickly there. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. We head to the bottom of the field. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners. Randy Arozarena. And here it comes. Two one. There's the strike. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. And next is the designated hitter, Luke Rayleigh. Here comes a pitch. And it's strike two. One and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Well, that's a blue zone right there or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Next Ball, offering down. is down low. The Rangers leading by three. Last half of inning number five. That one fouled off two and two. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And one, two, three go to Mariners. Still down three nothing. Back in Seattle, start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and leading off, Josh Smith. Here's a one to one. And yeah. strike two. And the oh. ball evens the count. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Evidently not too impressed with that call. And it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner. So he's making his case. You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire. And he felt this was his time. Hard ground ball, base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Oh, this has been a really nice game oh, at the plate really. for him. He looks locked in. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And here is Wyatt Lankford. This one in the air. Polanco gets under it. One away. Adolis Garcia. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Right-hander kicks deals. 
Oh, and that liner got him. Safe at first, and now we'll check on the right-hander. Hope he's all right. That one got him pretty good, but perhaps the silver lining is that it got him in his non-throwing arm, Chris. Yeah, assuming there's nothing broken in there, I think he should be able to shake this one off, but, man, that can't feel good. It's going to have a pretty nice bruise at the very least, that's for sure. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Logan Gilbert won't go any further, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, number 22, number 22. on for his major oh, league yeah. debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Now at the plate, Nathaniel Lowe. Yeehaw. Next offering is in for a strike. The Rangers trying to break this one open. And we're the top half of the sixth. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Next offering upstairs. Could be some action here on this Two next pitch. Couple strike. runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Smith, the lead runner at second. Garcia on at first with two down. That's off the mark. And now three and a one. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. JT Shagwa appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Saucedo also throwing. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Now fly ball to right center. Rodriguez sizes this one up, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. That situation navigated to perfection by the Mariner bullpen. 7 8 9 2 up in the home half of the inning. It's the Rangers 3 and the Mariners nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now it's the switch inning second baseman, Jorge Polanco. And that skips in the dirt. And another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. That one misses. So a lead off walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. So up next, J.P. Crawford. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The Mariners yet to pick up a hit here. the ground and that's through their first hit of the ball game J.P. Crawford with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy worked so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it kind of be overwhelming dude you still have to stay locked in on the game but 
it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Chase Anderson departs. Just one hit allowed. He was excellent. And we'll have the new pitcher for you when we get back after a quick break. Andrew Heaney will take over here on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. And now here is Josh Rojas. To second, pulls him off the bag. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. And a pitch. That's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Back to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners and now the lefty swing and a tapper that rolls foul the last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone they'll be pitching for a double play in this spot Hit in the air, center field. Moving under this one. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. He'll score on the sack fly, and it's now a two-run game. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. So first and second with two outs. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. He's gone Come off speed. Three. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Breaking ball, and that got him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Two outs, bases full. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Randy Arozarena. Two outs. Yeah. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And we're back. Here's the second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. Ezekiel Duran. Just off the outside edge.
Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Crawford calls it in, and there's one away. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and put it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Right Late two. with the swing there. It might be time to One choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. On the ground right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rangers as the lead remains 3-1. Back at T-Mobile Park, bottom of the seventh. Now, Luke Rayleigh. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. That misses. And now it's three and two. Movement in the bullpen. David Robertson appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Chafin, the lefty, warming up as well. 3-2. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters, froze him for strike three. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. So now Turner in on that right side. And there's a foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at-bat alive. Just nope. missed. Ball. It's a good take. That one misses, and yeah, the count is filled up. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Got him. Two gone now. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Jorge Polanco up next for the Mariners. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Two and two is the count. Out towards left center. Tavares going after it. And that will end the inning. the top of the eighth now it's the DH Marcus Simeon here's a 1-1 one, one. that one fouled off Out towards right center field, Rodriguez sizing this one up. He makes the grab, and there's one away. 
the batter, number eight, shortstop, Josh Smith. At the play, Josh Smith. One down, base is empty. Falling That's behind two and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Swing and a pop-up, and it stays fair. Around first and hustling for second. He's in there. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. One out, runner at second. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count, one and two. One out, the runner at second, and we're at the top of the eighth. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Wouldn't chase that time. He struck him out of the front door breaking ball. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can and now the right fielder Adolis Garcia sets him down on strikes couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees Rangers leave one but they still lead it 3-1 Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Andrew Chafin. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Stepping in, J.P. Crawford. Crawford. At the belt and fires. Way inside, gets out of the way. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. That three misses the zone, three and one. Line drive, caught! Man, oh man, that ball was absolutely smoked. Triple digit exit velocity, he dives, and I'm just shocked that the ball stayed in his mitt. Looked like he was gonna put a hole in his ball. Now the third baseman, Josh Rojas. Swing at a high fly ball, left field, moving under it. Snags it for the second out. The right fielder, number 10. Victor. Here's Victor Robles. Robles. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And the pitch. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Mariners are down in order. Score holds, it's 3-1. We're back 
It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, JT Shagwa. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So digging in, Nathaniel Lowe. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. That's towards center. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The third baseman, number six, Josh, Josh Young, Young stepping in for the Rangers. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. And the right hander deals. Got it. And there's two down. Next up for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Edward Bizardo getting ready to go. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rangers three and the Mariners one. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Kirby Yates. A chance at his first save of the year. Now pitching for Texas, number 39, Kirby Yates. Julio Rodriguez digs in now. The center fielder, Julio. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful, not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. The pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. One out. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. The Rangers trying to close out a two-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And that one a little below the knees. And now three and one. And that's in there at the knees. Down is full. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right handed reliever. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got it by him for the K. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. They're down to their final strike. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. 
One strike away. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Ground ball to short. Miss ought to do it. Fires to first on the run. That's the ball game. Anderson with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.